What's going on guys? Jeff here with Torpedoes and Tarantulas. So tonight I want to do things a little bit differently than the way I usually do them. Now there will be inverts at the end of this video. They will be kind of the uh, end of the show feature kind of thing. But I just real quickly wanted to talk to you guys about my experience uh, last week. So uh, I took a trip last week. For any of those in, in the U.S., you know last week was Thanksgiving. Uh, for the rest of you from other countries who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, the best way I can explain it is... Um, it was a tradition at one point about when the uh, settlers first discovered America and sat down and had a meal with the uh, indigenous peoples, but it's really kind of turned into now just eating and drinking too much and then sitting around burping and farting, napping, drinking beer, and uh, you know watching football and then later on doing it all over again. But anyway, so I uh, traveled for uh, Thanksgiving last week because my family was spread out uh, this year plus with the uh, virus. You know, nobody was really getting together, so I drove to see a YouTube friend of mine, very, very good friend, almost like a brother to me, really, uh, Norvis from Norvis Eight-Legged Critter. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. He lives in Ohio. I live in Texas. That is a 1,200-mile one-way trip, 2,400 total. Uh, it took me a full good day to get there. Uh, had a blast with these guys. Uh, we had Thanksgiving. Went to uh, Venom Girl's uh, family's house, had dinner. After dinner, went down into the basement, and a spontaneous Nerf dart gun war broke out between the adults and the kids, or boys versus girls, and we just had an all-time blast. Uh, Norvis and I sat around one night and smoked a good cigar and just had really great conversation. Spent a lot of time with them. They showed me around uh, their area. I really appreciated their hospitality and everything, but um, not only that, uh, I got to do a live stream with them, which was really cool. If you didn't see that, go check it out. But Norvis loaded me up with some goodies, which I mean, I think you can kind of see back there, which is kind of the highlight of this video. So that's what we're going to get around to. We're going to talk about what this guy gave me. And a lot of it was stuff like I didn't even want or didn't expect, but I appreciate everything that you gave me, brother. Sit tight, guys. Let's look at some critters, shall we? All right, so... Basically, like when I got there, you know, it was it was my first time seeing these guys face to face, actually meeting them. You know, I've been good friends with Norvis uh, and Venom uh, basically online for the past at least three years. But uh, Norvis and I have actually like talked on the phone, you know, when uh, one of us has a problem or, or, you know, something that's bothering them. We talk. So I've gotten to know these guys and they really were just as awesome as, as they were online. But we sat for like 15 minutes in their living room and talked. And then Norvis said, hey, you want to go see my room? And I was like, totally. Well, I got down there and uh, he showed me around for a little bit. And then he just started piling stuff on me. He said, I know you told me you didn't want these, but I'm going to give you some of these anyway. And this is the first um, invert that he gave me. And I actually have five of these. Let me see if I can turn the flash on and get it to focus. Here we go. He asked me before I left for my trip, did I want any of those scorpions? I told him not really. I'm not much of a uh, scorpion guy anymore. Um, they just uh, are not as exciting enough pet for me. Some of people love them, you know, but and I do, I, like as far as an animal goes, they are a very fascinating creature, but I don't know. They're just not the most ideal pet for me. Let's show you maybe one more and then I'm probably going to do a feeding video um, in the next couple of days. Sorry about that. So this genus and species that he, he has given me five of are the Hottentata Hottentata, which I believe he bought a, a uh, scorpion, an adult scorpion from a shop or something, and then she ended up giving birth. So something he didn't expect, much like when I got my Cuban bark scorpion like three years ago, back when I was really kind of into them. So he's been trying to get rid of the babies. He knows I'm not much of a scorpion guy anymore, but he just wanted to be a jerk and unload some of them on me. Hopefully I can get them to a good survivable stage and then maybe find a good home for them. But there we go. That is the first critters that he gave me. Let's move on to the next. So after he gives me the scorpions, he starts asking me questions. You know, like, so do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have this? Do you have that? 
and he asked me about both of these. I told him I did have one of them. He said, well, now you have two. And then he said, I've been wanting to give this one to you for a while. Here you go. So the first one, I said I did have one of, you may kind of recognize the uh, initials there, is a Brachypelma Bomi. Now, it is very tiny, but still, nonetheless, just as beautiful. I told him that I had a, uh, a juvenile... Um, Bomi Mexican fire leg that's probably two inches and he said well now you have two so hopefully that other one turns into a female and hopefully this is a male and I can breed them later on because they are a very gorgeous tarantula so I was very grateful for that now I've got two Brachypelma Bomi but this is the one he had asked me a while back if I had one and I said no and he said you know he really loved them now this one is absolutely tiny this is the Brachypelma Baumgartney which um, I believe the common name is like the Mexican Orange Beauty. Um, there it is. Absolutely tiny. But again, another gorgeous tarantula. Um, he knows I love my brackies. And um, I'm really, really grateful for these guys. Really appreciate it. And hopefully we can raise them up nice and pretty. And you guys can watch them kind of grow up as we go along. So there's those two. Let's move on to the next ones. So then he goes on to ask me if I had a Brachypelma verdesi, and I told him the story about how I actually purchased a confirmed female Brachypelma verdesi from Palp Friction. Long story short, I didn't get it, but I did get store credit, so I got four other tarantulas. But he said, well, now you do have one, and that is this one right here. I know that there are some in the, uh, in the hobby people that I watch and that watch me that I believe have this uh, species right here in genus. Um, looks like your typical Brachypelma sling for right now. Not much to look at, but again, hopefully we all get to watch it grow and change together. Let's move on to the next one, which he asked me if I had this species, and I told him no, that I had thought about getting them early on in the hobby, but had just kind of steered away from getting them at, at one point I, I really don't know why but another gorgeous species and maybe i can get it to come out i actually had it come out and walk on my hand last night or i can at least get it to come out and kind of spread out nope it wants to hide this is the venezuelan sun tiger or samopoas ermenia very gorgeous spider um, I got interested in these really early on in the hobby and then for some reason just kind of started to lose interest in them. There it goes hiding again. Um, but he gave me one, so I'm definitely going to take interest in it and hopefully it turns out female. Uh, basically we kind of traded because, you know, I brought Norvis, a mature male that I got from my friend Scott Wittemeyer, and then he gave me this Armenia sling. So we just did kind of a, uh, Armenia pass around, but another really awesome species. Now we're going to get into the bigger ones, and these are the ones that I really appreciate. So this next tarantula is an adult, if you can't tell, uh, and it is an adult male. We were talking about this species as well. Uh, I believe he told me he was he was always having trouble getting females out of these because he's had quite a few of them. They always turn out male. Uh, and I told him that, you know, first shot when I got one of these, it was a female and it was already um, at an adult size. Again, another tarantula that I got from my friend Scott Wittemeyer. Um, this is the Lampropelma violosipes, the Singapore blue. This is a mature male and there is absolutely no blue on this guy whatsoever. But he's still a stunning looking specimen. My female, uh, you may have seen the uh, rehousing that I did when I first got them, but... There we go. That is the first tarantula that kind of made the whole trip worth it. So now I have one breeding pair of gorgeous tarantulas. So let's move on to the next one. So this next male right here is the absolute highlight of my entire week up there. This guy right here, this, uh, I've been looking for a male of this genus and species uh, ever since my girl, I was able to confirm her molt that she was a girl almost two years ago. This is another one that Norvis talked about how he never had any luck and he always got males. 
uh, and I had beginner's luck on my first one. It was a female. It was my second tarantula. Uh, the first one that was an actual female that I confirmed the sex of it that wasn't bought as a confirmed female. And I did a, a video on her the other day because she was actually out. So you probably know what I am talking about. This right here is the Harpactera pulchropes or golden blue leg baboon. Now, he's not as stunning as his counterpart Phoebe is, but he's still a beautiful tarantula nonetheless. And we talked again, too, about how uh, a lot of these tarantulas, you know, the male tarantulas, as they're small, every time they molt, you know, they're they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're more beautiful with every molt. And then they hit that ultimate molt, and it's like, bam. They kind of get drab, and they're all leggy and everything, but they're still just as important in the hobby. And like I said, this guy right here, I have been trying to get a hold of one of these for a very long time. So now I've got a super exciting breeding project in the works. Uh, the video I did on Phoebe, she's looking quite plump, hasn't taken any food lately. So I'm hoping that she's going to molt very soon. Now this guy molted, at molted out like I think like a month ago. So he's really fresh as a mature male. So I'm going to take super good care of these, this guy right here. And hopefully he and Phoebe can make some beautiful babies later on. Uh, that I can share with some of you in the hobby because I know there are some of you out there that really want to get your hands on one of these. And I've always talked them up. I've always said that the Harpactera poker piece is one of those that anyone should have in the hobby. And I still stand by that. So that's basically all of the critters that I got. I'll talk about this real quick. I actually accidentally grabbed uh, one of his tarantulas because it this enclosure was sitting on top of uh, one of the enclosures of one of the ones that he gave me. And I was a third of the way home and he texted me and said, Hey man, I think you mistakenly grabbed my uh Thai Earth Tiger. This is the I believe it's Syriopogapus Paganus or something. I had never heard of it. I thought, man, I feel like such a fool. I told him, I will get her back to you because it is a female. Um I said, I will get her back to you, but not in this weather. And then he told me, No, man, don't worry about it keeper so it was just a bonus that just goes to show you what kind of guy um norvis and venom are they like i said i just can't talk them up enough i love those guys to death they were super nice they hated to see me go i hated to leave you know they messaged me when i was an hour down the road saying we miss you already so they're like family to me i love those guys i really appreciate their hospitality and um just everything they did and, and welcoming me into their home and all that. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed, please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Share this video with your friends. And of course, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. And I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.